my name's Gabby Starbuck and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to give this a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. I'm going to do a little bit of a skincare routine today with the Tropic brand. So I bought myself a few bits from Tropic which come up to about £100 and Tropic is one of my favourite skincare ranges and I want to do this try on so that I can show you why. Um, all of the Tropic stuff are made with natural ingredients and that is one of the reasons that I really really like it. I wanted to do this unboxing and show you all the individual items that I have in my box. What I like about Tropic as well is not only are the products really really nice but they are packaged so nicely as well so they're exciting to receive because they just look so good. I will attach the link in the description underneath this video so if you do want to purchase any Tropic products the link is in the description so do check it out if you want to. I'll get the stuff out and then we'll have a little run through what we've got. So we've got a cleanser and um, they're quite cool because obviously packaged inside this thing and the cleansing bottle whoops pull it out now looks a little bit like that so you do get quite a big portion 120 mils big portion it sounds like i'm talking about fish and chips it i've got some face mask as well when i bought this set it's called the abc set and um, with the abc set you're purchasing a cleanser toner moisturizer and you get to pick a serum of your choice and you get to pick a mask of your choice and this is the mask that i picked so I'd gone for, let me just get the cleanser toners and moisturizers out first. So my toner is this one here. Uh, again, I'll pull that out. Again, it's a very similar bottle to the cleanser. It's a little bit smaller, but it's a spritz one. So I quite like that. The moisturizer, they don't call it the moisturizer. What they call it is, if you ever look in on the site and you're a bit confused, it's called the Skin Feast. This is like the product that sold Tropic to me. No word of a lie, it is amazing when you apply it, I'll show you. So again, it's packaged inside these little sleeves and it looks like that. So again, the same as the others, but this is 50 mil. But it goes a long way, so I quite like it. The mask that I purchased is a facelift one, because of course, it's always good to look a little bit younger, isn't it? And have your face lifted. And um, just so you know, I've got no makeup on at the moment as well. So I do apologize for any, um, any scares or frights that you might have. So just open this up, take it out of the box. This is what the facelift mask actually looks like. It's like in a little yellow box. I've got a few different ones, but facelift is a must. The serum that I actually got with the box, I have given to Holly because Holly really badly wanted it. The last one I had worked quite well with her skin. So she is using that at the moment. So I'm going to be using this one which is the Age Defying Omega Oil one. So I'm gonna be giving that serum a little go. So it's all right to mix and match these things as well. I don't seem to have a problem with it. Um, this set did come free with a bamboo cloth and a mini face mask, which again, I got the facelift. So there's my miniature face mask. I mean, it's only because they had a promotion on at the time that I got the free face mask, but they do do things like that now and again. So it's good to check them out. This is my bamboo face cloth. It's really soft, really nice. It's like the material of like, you know, can you remember those babies nappies that you used to get in the olden days where they were like cloth? <laughs> so it feels a little bit like that, but it's really soft. So I'm just gonna pin back this uh, mop of hair now and I'm gonna apply the mask. I've already took the makeup off my face and so my face is bare as you can see it's probably at its worst right now you can see i've got some like a few little not major but just like some pimply spots around my forehead and sometimes depending on the time of the month we get like a little bit of a breakout here and here and um, when it's quite dull under the eyes that's lack of sleep that's for sure tim snores and um yeah so i'm gonna apply my facelift mask 
So before I begin applying my mask, I'm gonna have a swig of coffee because once the mask is on, you've got no chance of being able to have a swig. And I think it stays on for like 10 minutes. How to apply, I'm just gonna read this out to you quickly. Apply an even layer twice a week. So twice a week, um, you can leave it on 10 to 20 minutes until it's dry, then rinse. Right, so let's give it a little go. Whoops. So obviously this is what it looks like. Nice little close look. It looks a bit like mustard. I've got a little spatula to put it on. And I'm only doing this, right? It's a tropic one. I'm only doing this to be all professional because really I would just get my fingers in there and just whack it all over because I just have no care whatsoever. But the right way to do it is with this spatula. I find it a bit of a pain to be honest. But I'm gonna. I'm just gonna look in this mirror because it's hard with the selfie camera. Um, but always put a generous amount on. There's no point in. Um, I can't believe I'm doing this on camera. I'm gonna look a right idiot. But there's no point in doing this half-heartedly. That's for sure. Oh, this spatula is. It is a pain. It really is. It feels like it just takes longer. You can buy the spatulas on the Tropic site as well. I think they're like five pounds, but. I personally just just use your fingers that's why God gave you fingers right it's all going in my hair brilliant I should have got a hairband really great just gonna get a little bit more it's like cement <laughs> it's as thick as cement this is a wash off one as well it's not a peel off just so you know La, 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 la. So I'm just going to go all the way around my mouth. A little bit there above your lips. Why not whack it everywhere? Because I want my whole skin to tighten and brighten. So I feel good. Don't look good though right now. You are never going to look good with a face mask. Can't believe I'm doing this. The things you do for YouTube, eh? The things you do. Don't forget, if you're interested in any of these products, the link is in the description. And you can buy it on my site if you want. That's it, whack it on the wrinkles, on that spotty forehead. It's not really that bad to be fair. What am I looking like now? Complete dick? A complete wally, should I say? There you go, it's going on a bit smoother now. If anything, using the spatula did stop my fingers from getting mucky. So there is that, the spatula. So it does have its uses. See, it just goes to show really how much I like you guys because who else would sit here with this stuff on their face for your entertainment value and to review Tropic products, eh? I had a Tropic party at my house because Tropic do parties and they put the green one on me and I looked like the Incredible Hulk and obviously I was the host so it had to be me. I looked like an idiot. And all my friends are taking pictures. I was like, yeah, cheers, mates. You're all heart. Right, I think I've got most of my large Italian nose. So, I'm just going to like leave it there. Because I don't want to go too high in my hairline. Because I can see it's going in and I can't be bothered to get a hairband. So, and it's starting to dry a bit now. So I think I'm going to leave it there. So I've done this quite generously. So as you can see, that's how much I've used from the pot. You've got to do things. It's the knockers next door. Stop knocking. Bunch of knockers. Oh, it's a nightmare when you're wedged between two other people. I mean, when your house is wedged between two other people. Right, so here we are. I'm looking um, very... Um, clay-fied right now but I'm going to feel like I've had a facelift afterwards 
but obviously it's all natural products so yeah go don't don't be tight with it go generously and we're gonna wait um we, it, you can wait between 10 to 50 10 to 20 minutes but i'm gonna wait 10 because you know how impatient i am so 10 minutes on the clock so 10 minutes has passed and you can see how hard it's gone it's like um having newspaper on your face i've got to get this off so you could wait a little bit longer but I kind of just want to get on with it now, so I'm just going to go remove it. See, I've got Smidge with me. I don't know if you can see him. He's always getting involved. Say hi, Smidge. Hi. Smidge always likes to get involved in the um, in the vlogs. <laughs> but I can't bring him up here. I've got a little bit of a candle going on. So anyway, I've prepared myself. So I've just took the mask off and my skin is feeling very, very energised. I can't deny it. It feels like, well, you know, feel feel great. feel like I've had a facelift. I've used one of our normal kitchen bowls for this because... I'm not really well prepared for that. I don't really have bowls around my house where I can just have a cleanser here at the kitchen table because usually I would just go in the bathroom like everybody else. But obviously for this, I'm going to use my kitchen bowls. So if you are doing this at home, kitchen bowls are fine. Nobody's judging. I'm sorry my hair looks so bad. It's not supposed to. It's just... And yeah, I did get a lot of the mask around the top bit of my hair. So yeah, it's not great. So anyway, I'm going to have a bit of a cleanse now. Yep, I'm going to use the cleanser, which looks a little bit like this. And this is the tip of it. So with this, um, my skin is already feeling like a little bit damp anyway. But I'm just going to put a little bit on so that the cleanser, well, a little bit of water, just so the cleanser rubs around my face a little bit easier. Okay. I'm going to do two to four pumps, it says. Um, but it all just depends on, like, your own skin, how much you need. Um, so I'm going to go three. So I'm going to go somewhere in the middle because I think four would probably be a bit too much for me. Um, as you can see. It smells really eucalyptus-y, like, you know, when you go in the sauna at the gym. It's great. Not the sauna. The steam room, that's it. So I'm just going to rub it in. Oh my god, I forgot how good this is because I haven't used Tropic for quite a while. It's the first time I've used it in a while because I've just been using other stuff. Only because I need to get through it all. This is so good. It's true what they say, you do get what you pay for. So this is not sort of cheap stuff, but it is so nice. Oh my god, it's so good. Inhale it while you do it. So with me, I don't know about you guys, but I always like to do a bit of a figure of eight when I'm cleansing around and moisturising around my face so that I get every bit. So I'll go like up around my forehead, around my eyes, up towards my nose, my Italian nose, and then again around my chin and below my nose. So, and yeah, that's how I, that's how I do it so I get everything. It's important to get a bit of your neck as well because um, people forget people to inspire on me and <laughs> um, yeah what are you doing yeah people forget that your neck ages too it's important to look after that it's important to look after every part of your body right that's great you don't need to keep you know massaging it in for too long just so you get the general idea so i'm going to take my bamboo cloth and i'm just gonna put it in my breakfast bowl <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to give it a bit of a squeeze so that it's not dripping. Oh, table's drenched now. Are you making a mess? No, not at all. Yeah, so give it a bit of a squeeze so that it dries the flannel out a bit. Well, not dries it out, but you know, so it's not ringing, you know. Just give it a bit of a squeeze so it's just damp. I've heard that cold water is really good for your face, but. I'm not gonna be using cold water today because I think that's quite agonizing. So this is a really nice warm water. 
you hold it up towards your face oh it feels really good with the eucalyptus as well so this cleanser is just well let's put it this way in about 10 minutes time i've got to get holly from school and i want to now i want to stay at home and just chill right so i'm just gonna wipe the residue away from my face I'm actually do it a little bit under the neck it feels really good sometimes when we go into the indian and have some indian food they give us these <laughs> not bamboo ones but they give you like some cloths to wipe your hands on and they have them nice and warm i don't know if they pull them out the microwave or what they do with them they're so good everybody like just sort of and yeah wipes their hands with them but me no i get the cloth and go like this i love it it's the best part of going to the indian getting that cloth at the end so yeah i'm feeling do i look better tim feeling a bit energized now so that's my cleanser Right now, I would... Oh, Smidge, will you go get me a towel, baby? Go and get me a towel from the bathroom. Smidge, can you get me a towel from the bathroom, please? That way. Off you go. Thank you. Lovely. So anyway, my face has been a lot drier now. Anyway, I don't really need the towel. So the next thing I'm going to use is some toner. It's always important to use toner. Um, spritz into freshly cleansed skin and leave to sink in. It's quite weird actually because when I've used toner in the past it's always been on some cotton wool and you just kind of put it on and then swish it around. This is the first time I've ever used like a toning spritz but it's quite nice and again it's got like a, oh, I must stop saying and again it's really aggravating me but it's got like a really nice do you know what this vlog started off so professional I don't know what happened and then I just spritz my face with it a few times It smells really nice. You can't deny it. It's got aloe vera juice, vitamin C and vitamin B5. I should know these things, but I uh, do have to look back and check. But everything in here is all natural stuff. It's vegan friendly products as well, which we're liking in this generation, aren't we? We are loving the vegan friendly. Um, it's an instant skin refresher that's infused with vitamins and amino acids to help balance skin pH and reduce your pore sizes which is just what we want because we don't want big pores we don't want blackheads god you're a bit excited aren't you smidge so yeah what i really love about the tropic stuff it's not just the textures of, of them and um what they stand for with them being all natural products and stuff like that but they smell so nice when you put them on the skin and that's one of the good things about putting it on it almost feels like you are not, it's not just a chore putting on your skin products. It actually feels really luxurious. And yeah, you just wake up and you want to do it in the morning, you know. So anyway, the next thing I'm going to add is my Age Define Omega Oil. Now you can get all sorts of, breakfast bowl. You can get all sorts of these. So these, this is a serum. In the past, I've always been used to just like a cream serum, which I, I can't deny, I do prefer a cream serum to these sort of drop serums these dro i've used different types not just tropics but i've used all sorts of different types i'm even using like some nip and fab ones now and again and um, and it's not really my cup of tea but tropic ones are really really good for you so it's just a different style you know it's it's um god what the hell do i look like i look like a bloody fright so anyway Three to six drops, um, I'm just gonna quickly read the back to you. Um, a skin loving, rich in omega fatty acids, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it's important to have a serum. Yeah, anyway, on the Tropic site, you can get loads of different types. You can get like ones for like spot crow, um, like a blemish one, a hydration one, um, a skin tightening one. There's just loads of different types, but this one is the age defying one. So it's going to go nicely with my um, the mask, you know, the tightening mask, this stuff, the brightening and tightening. I'm going to look like a model at the end of this. So they, they say to only have three to six drops, okay? So because it's quite oily and my skin is not a dry skin, smidge is making a white racket, it's quite like a normal type of skin really. So I'm not gonna put too much on. 
I always find it's quite hard to apply. I don't know how you apply these, but I just literally squeeze like one on the forehead, one on the side, quickly rub it in, because <laughs> otherwise it just trickles down your face. I don't know if I'm doing it the right way. And then get on this side, so that gives me three. I'll just give one more for luck. Pfft, that went in my eye then. Right, what I know about these serums is they do give your skin this protective barrier you know against like the environment and stuff like that so it does protect it it smells nice this is quite like an oily smell but it does smell like if you were having a facial in a sal salon you know it's beauty salon it's good stuff anyway i'm just gonna rub it in a little bit and then the general rule after you've given it the initial rubbing right round your figure of eight of course is to pat it I don't really know what patting your skin does because obviously it's quite greasy at the moment because of this oil. I don't know, honestly don't know how patting helps but it must be something to do with the pores and I don't know. But I've been told to pat your skin so we rub it in a little bit and then pat it. Yeah, it feels a little bit greasy but like I say you don't need to go four drops you can just go three or even less i suppose just because it says three to six on the bottle does not mean that you need to do three to six but oh uh, yeah it it does soak in just like the toner does and yeah feeling good i've got the one hit wonder wednesday little quiz show game thing on facebook tonight you see so now is a really good time to prep my skin so that i'm looking so I'm looking really fine for the camera. <sighs> yeah, as you can see, I'm not looking blotchy at all. That's not too bad. So the next thing I'm going to add, and it's gonna be the last thing as well. This is my Skin Feast Nourishing Cream. Now this is what made me fall in love with the Tropic Range. I got to the point where I was waking up in the morning and I was excited about putting this on. Yes, I do live a quite simple life. Actually, it's not quite simple. It's actually quite hectic. But it was just one of those things. I just think as you get a little bit older and you become a woman, well, I've been a woman for a while now, you know, in my 30s, late 30s. So I just think when you get older, you start to want to indulge in looking after your skin and your nails and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's, it's nice to wake up and have a bit of this. It's meant to leave your skin with a healthy glow, but I really like the smell on this. You can actually get a range, you can buy this in the non-scented version as well, but I just think, I mean, it's entirely up to you because if your skin is a little bit like um, sensitive and you know, you're not used to having certain things on your skin, then you can go for that. But I think one of the best things about the Tropic range is not only that it is like natural ingredients, but the scent. I mean, the scent is, for me, it's a winner. The eucalyptus and the cleanser and yeah, I just love it. So anyway, one to three pumps it says. I'm not gonna be too greedy with this. So I'm just gonna have three. <laughs> right. So here we go, that's how much I'm gonna use. I'm gonna rub it into my fingers and then I'm gonna do, an, oh my God, it smells so good. I'm just gonna do a figure of eight again around my face. Oh my God, it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. I honestly you could just sit here with my head in my hands and smell it. Oh, so good. Oh, if you buy them on their own, they are expensive. But if you buy the ABC set, it works out at a really good price. I mean, it's like something like a hundred pounds and you get you get your mask, your cleanser, your toner, your moisturizer and your serum and your bamboo cloth. And you know, and then when you break it down individually, it actually works out really good cost. Because if you were gonna get your normal cleanser and stuff like that that's how much you would pay anyway you know unless you go for the more cheap cheap ranges but it is true you do get what you pay for i have learned that over the years 
at the moment i'm very much into obviously the tropic range as you know and i really love nip and fab so i'm a massive fan of both of those at the moment and i find that they go really well with my skin they sit comfortably with me i like the smell of them and yeah but even again nip and fab is quite you know similar prices to be honest with you and um, the best thing to do even if you're going on the nip and fab is like see when they've got the discounts and stuff but like i said if you buy the abc range and you're buying stuff together like as a in a cluster rather than individually it's really good deal really good it's so worth it and it does make your skin feel amazing i mean at the end of the day when we are putting these skin products on our face we really don't know what sort of chemicals are inside them at all but the good thing about this tropic range is it's all natural stuff it's all natural have have a little look in the description i have put a link and have a little look and it's full of information on what the ingredients are inside the products as well really really good really good love it Oh, that smells so good. And as you can see, I'm just rubbing it all in still, giving it a good massage in because I was really greedy. And instead of having one and two squirts, <laughs> that sounds so funny, I had three. But anyway, if you leave it, it will soak itself in. And I feel refreshed and I feel ready to go. So anyway, like I did say, the link is in the description so check it out i do hope that you've enjoyed this vlog if you haven't done so already please subscribe and um, give it a share give me a thumbs up because the thumbs up are so so important and hit that notification bell so that you can keep up to date with all the vlogs that i am uploading thank you very much for watching i will see you soon no doubt take care everybody i'll see you soon